Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm just doing a short video now because I've just had a bit of a result with this Mountfield lawnmower that I was showing you the other day, this one with the GCV engine. I bought this one for £50, I think I previously said it was £45, but I went to pick up another lawnmower uh, and the chap had this one and I've uh, I managed to pick this up for £50. They wanted a little service, it wanted some things doing with a carburettor and some springs to get it running nicely and basically wanted a good clean up as I do with most. But I've just sold this item um, as you can see, I've got my little uh, thing with me. I'll just wait for the focus to kick in. But that's the uh, that's the picture of the mower that I've just shown you. Uh, and that sold this morning, as you can see there, for 22 bids for £200. Oh, that was on eBay. So a £50 lawnmower, which was quite expensive to buy, um, I've sold today. I think that's my best ever result. I think I've sold one for 150 before. But it wasn't a Honda one. It didn't have the engine such as this one. So I've had a real good re result with that one. So with the money, of course, me being me, I've uh, spotted a couple more. And I've managed to uh, purchase myself another lawnmower. Actually, I'm going to pick up tonight. So this is what I do when I, uh, when I win a lawnmower. I go and pick it up straight away if I can. Um, and I'll just show you it on here if I can. This is the one. I've got no idea what, what's going to happen with it yet. It's a little bit slow in here tonight. Um, so I'm just on a wireless network. But because... As you can see, I've, I've sold the green one as well. That's the one I bought. Sorry, the green one down there, which I've got. I've got that one on eBay at the minute. I paid twenty-two pounds for that. You can see it on here. This is the uh, my list of things that I've bought. Um, so that's the green one. But the one I've won today is this petrol lawnmower here. I run it for twenty-seven pounds. It's around ten miles away. And I've only got a little Fiesta, so I'll go and pick it up in that. I'm just about to go out now, as it, as it happens. But I thought I'd show you this video before I go. So I'm going to go through it with this one. I'll film everything I do and see how much I can make. So, um, let's have a quick look at the description. This is the sort of thing that I've been looking for uh, and picking up quite recently. So it says, "Hello, alarm more in working in working condition, even though I've put for spares repair. Possible fuel problem as engine hunt, but mows the garden even. So comes with grass box. Overall, good con. Engine starts okay. Thank you." Only note, this is a Briggs and Stratton engine. So this is typical of um, the sort of mower I've been getting. Once again, I mean, if I do a listing, I do excellent photos, and I always do a video, which is something I promised I would show you how to do. This has got a first one that doesn't rotate the right way, of course. So I'm trying to film it. But it's very uh, poor, but the engine you can tell it's a Briggs and Stratton engine. The paintwork looks reasonably good. It's got a grass box, so it should go for a little bit more than one without one. Um, and it looks, uh, I think it'll uh, look in really good condition when I get it. So what I'm going to do with this, uh, I'm going to take my camera with me and I'm going to um, go and pick this lawnmower up in my little Fiesta. Because you can get them in the boot of a small car because the, the, uh, the handles fall down. So I'm going to go and pick it up and um, when I get back I'll uh, let you have a look at this one. We'll go through this one which I bought for £27 and just see if we can make a profit on this one as well. So thanks for watching and on the next part I will show you the lawnmower when I've picked Okay, so as I said, all I've got to go in is this little Fiesta, so I'll just fold the split seat down, put a little uh, sheet in the back. Basically, this is enough room to get in a, a petrol lawnmower with a grass box. So I'm going to get on my travels in my little Fiesta, and we'll go and pick it up. So I've got my postcard in, I've got my sat-nav ready, and I'm going to go and pick up a £27 lawnmower. So I've just picked up this lawnmower, I've just driven around the corner really, just to have a quick look at it. I thought I'd just do a bit of filming. Now this is typical of the, the, the story I've heard well over 50 times you now, most of these I pick up. The guy says, oh no, it cuts fine, it runs it runs and starts up and things like that, but it just revs up and down. And I mean, to look at this, this just looks like, you know, a real sad bucket of bolts really. But doing this video diary is really good because you can see this in, its, you know, in the worst state it's going to get in my hands. Um, and we're going to see what we can do with this one. Remembering it was £27 as I've said. I mean you can see how dirty it is. I'll have a proper look at it when we get back. That's in the boot of the car. I'm going to take this home now. There's potentially a good lawnmower there. Especially by the time we've cleaned it up and given it a good, uh, a good uh, little service. So I'm going to get home now and we'll have a look at this lawnmower. Just one other thing that occurred to me now, I've just picked this lawnmower up and I've sat back in the car, is that um, when you go and pick one up, always, always ask the chap or, you know, whoever you get the lawnmower off, always, always ask him what the problem was with it. Because often you'll get a lot more out of them than you will by reading the eBay listing or wherever you got the lawnmower from. So this guy's obviously told me it was revving up and down, but it was running. 
Um, but I've picked them up before and, you know, just I've been walking away. I've said, oh, you know, is there anything, uh, you know, that I need to know about this, any problems? And they'll say, oh, yeah, I, I took all the oil out of it. I forgot to forgot to mention that there's no oil in it. Or they'll say, oh, actually, there's an instruction book with this, or I've got a spare grass box, or whatever they might have, some tools or something like that, you might as well take those. So I always ask them what the problem was with the mower, because when you're trying to look, look for a fault and you're not sure what the problem is, it can be really helpful just having a little conversation with them. So I'll see you in the next part. Okay, so I've made it home with the mower, and as you can see behind me here, here it is. Um, there's one thing I do with all these mowers before I take them in my garage, and that's give them a real good clean. Now this is a, a bit of an abrupt method, but I found it's the best way to get all the grass off from around the wheels and the underside before taking it in the garage, and it saves uh, making a mess of my garage. So I'm going to clean this one off, ready to start work on it tomorrow night. So there you go, probably not uh, the best method of doing it but certainly the quickest and it's quite difficult to remove any grass once you've got it in the garage without making a mess so as long as you're not spraying it directly at the engine and uh, you're just keeping this nice and clean we're ready to start some work tomorrow night. One other small thing to mention is that um, when you tip these lawnmowers it says in the instructions to tip them straight back with the handle Obviously if you're trying to look underneath them to see if the blade's okay, make sure you don't tip them this way towards the air filter because it just fills up with oil and the, the mower won't run right. So if you're going to have a look underneath how to clean it, always tip it the other way. And as you can see with uh, with this one, the blade is intact and it looks nice and solid. I've just had a, had a good look at it. I'll give that a clean off under there. And um, we'll start tidying this machine up and see what the problem is. <laughs> 